All right, guys, it's time for an update. I've been away for a little while and I'm here on La Palma. This is the house that I'm renting and I've been here for seven weeks almost now and I'm heading back next week. And this is the first video that I'm making here. Um, and I wanna give you some updates, what's going on with my training, what's going on with my life <laughs> and, uh, and some, uh, uh, some other things. So first things first, let's really talk about the important stuff first. My moustache. Can you see it? It's trimmed. <laughs> I trimmed it after 10 years of not even cutting my mustache ever. It was suddenly time. I was suddenly feeling inspired to try something new and I did. And I enjoy it. I now enjoy it. It, it. I think it looks pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I, as you probably know, and that's probably some of you wondering about, the reason that I went to La Palma, well, I go away in the winter generally because Norway is just a difficult place to be in the winter. Lack of sunshine, um, really bad running conditions, but actually this year it's been almost no snow, so the conditions for running has been good. But still, sunshine is a still a problematic factor when it comes to the Norwegian winter. So that's one of the reasons, obviously, that I went away and went to La Palma. For those of you that don't know, La Palma is one of the Canary Islands. Um, so it's an island in the Atlantic Ocean outside of Africa and um, it's a pretty cool place and so I went here but it was also I also had another objective and that was to heal because as some of you may know I did and I, I had I've had an issue with some strange dizziness i call it dizziness but it's not really dizziness it's just a weird feeling in my head that has been going on now for six months it came in august last year and very frustrating and i did a lot of tests with the various doctors i've done mri scans eeg scans i've done a heart checkup i, I blood tests there's no obvious answer to what it is there's no glaring deficiencies or any you know obvious things that I could fix I've experimented a lot a lot I've experimented with all kinds of things supplements trying to see correlations between things that I'm doing uh, and training and I didn't find any answers but I came to La Palma and I decided to take a full break from work and training so for the first five weeks of being here in La Palma I didn't run a single step and i never i didn't work at all i i basically had a vacation and i i, I realized uh, that i really need vacations like normal people everyone needs a vacation now and then and i've never really done vacations i've always worked a little bit and there's a difference between working a little bit and working nothing like when you when you do no work you just get a different perspective and it's very re refreshing so that was good uh, I was also obviously hoping that the, the thorough rest would provide my body with uh, what it needed to heal from whatever is going on in terms of the dizziness. Unfortunately, it's still going on, uh, the dizziness. I, I still have some symptoms, uh, which, you know, maybe it will take longer. That's fine, uh, but I'm still... Uh, frustrated of, of course i have started training again slowly building that up i'll get to that um, uh, and hopefully it'll it, it, i think the training the running will not um, affect the dizziness in one way or the other i i did have dizziness even when i was not training for five weeks so i um my theory it, without going too far into the the situation is that you know I think there could be an epilepsy component here. I did have epilepsy as a kid, um, and it seems to be triggered by looking at screens for me uh, sometimes. So 
that could be it could be epilepsy but then the question of course is why did i suddenly get epilepsy again um or a version of epilepsy there's a lot of different epilepsy is not 100 percent understood we don't necessarily know why people get epilepsy or or, or stuff and, and there's a lot of weird types of epilepsy as well so it could be epileptic but then the question is why is it because of all my training last summer is it because i was training so hard I didn't feel like I was training too hard. I was doing it very controlled, but still maybe it was too hard for me. I don't know. Um, could there be a deficiency? I mean, could there be some obscure exotic deficiency? I don't know. I'm supplementing now with choline, which is a nutrient that I'm getting not as much of on a vegan diet. And some people are genetically disposed to need more choline. So yeah, perhaps. Perhaps it'll help. I don't know if it's even brain related, uh, the dizziness that is. But anyway, so, so the idea is I'm experimenting and when I get back home, I'll, I'll do some more tests with the doctor. I'll probably do another EEG uh, to see if it's uh, epileptic. Anyway, otherwise though, I'm feeling really good most of the time. I mean, I, I'm happy. I, I, I'm struggling a little bit here on La Palma, a little bit isolated and it's a little boring <laughs> to be honest because I, I, I haven't trained and I haven't worked so obviously I'm gonna be a little bored. Now that I'm starting to train again, starting to work again a little bit, that's, uh, that's feeling uh, much better. Training is going okay if I can say that I mean I, I wouldn't really say okay perhaps because <laughs> I'm so unfit um, after after five weeks of not training and before that I even had another month of just training a few times so it's almost like a couple months off and it's certainly three months of, of less than less training than I'm that, than what I'm used to so a lot of detraining has occurred and I'm now feeling uh, very unfit. When I go for a run, I feel like a normal person. Suddenly I'm very slow and uh, heart rate is high. Of course, you can follow me on Strava. There's a link in the description if you wanna um, follow my training. And um, you probably, probably wanna check out uh, Patreon too. I have a Patreon page. There's a link in the description. I'll put a link somewhere here as well. Um, where I put out exclusive content. I just made a really cool Q&A video over there. So go check that out if you want. But um, yeah, when I go running, it's it's slow and um, quite an ordeal. <laughs> but I know that's how it is. You get slowly back into things. And within a few months, for sure, I'll be back up where I was and uh, it'll be all good. Anyway, um, anything else? Should I update anything else? I'm looking forward to getting back home to Norway in um, one week. And so that'll be nice. Uh, the sun should be a little higher now. It's not quite spring yet, but it's, it's getting there. And the sun is as high in Norway now as it is in September. So actually it's pretty, that's pretty decent. In terms of the future of the channel, I am going to, um, continue making videos but I'm still focusing more on my training and my coaching business going forward so I will not be making weekly videos but I will be making I don't know I don't, I don't want to put a number to it but I'm gonna be making videos regularly just not super often in the meantime you could follow me on Instagram you could follow me on Strava and you can check out my coaching website, obviously. I'll put a link to it here, uh, where I you know, offer um, coaching for runners and customized training programs and all that stuff. So that's something that I wanna focus more on going forward. And for now, um, thanks for uh, following along my journey here on the Lone Trail. Thanks for v watching. And I hope you're having an awesome day. I hope your running is going well. Um, stay tuned for more. See you around.